I'm a heavy, thinly pony called Twilight, with some ways that I like to use to fly. But I don't like it when they go ting, like something that just goes ping. Twilight, you're on. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry, sir. I was just doing my own song, which is based on Parsley the Lion song. <coughs> anyway, this next episode is when Teddy gets lost. Great, I do a song after you listen to the song from Parcel of the Lion Twilight. <laughs> Thanks, Spike. <laughs> It's a very long way to get home, sir, said Teddy. I wonder if we shall take a shortcut. Or just use one of the forest lands. But you don't know them. They're new to you. Meaning you're new to this part. You don't know. <coughs> Excuse the cough. Teddy understood what I told her and she had to be careful of not getting lost. She remembered her trip getting here was when she was running away from America. Many news reports about her disappearance coming here had been unlocked, and none of, 
America's newest people couldn't find her. She was lucky to be leaving her railway in the dark. But she had some worry. She knew Australia has read her books and have respected her. But the news of the case was still not closed. And she suddenly realised who said about her leaving America. Of course, the Tara, who refused her to pull a train, was telling them she had escaped so she can have her history given to everyone. In my country, her book was published in her country. When 2014 came, she wanted a change and she didn't tell America where she went. I've got something to tell you which I kept a secret for years, sir. What's wrong? I asked. We'll talk in the woods. We went to the deepest part of the woods and Teddy began to open her case to me. Captain Crook, I'm an engine with life sickness and I wanted to get rid of it by coming to live in your country. What's your worries this time? Well, after the tower was put in the museum for many years, some news people have been talking to him about me. He told them where I went. Now my life is in danger. When the news would find me, I'll get taken back to America to be put in the museum. Oh dear, what makes you say this? When I was born in the 90s, I've been hiding to get my to my shed. And the tower was yelling at me as I came home. I ignored him knowing he would suspect something I didn't tell. The child is being selfish on you. That's why he made your life a sad one. What else is getting you worried, sick? The news have been wanting to know about my story, but I refused to tell them. And that's when I was grounded for many years. Now I'm in your country and have told you my tale. Can you tell it all our friends but just keep it away from the news people so that I won't get sent back to America? All right, I'll find a phone somewhere. It would have been better because we didn't think clearly enough. We were lost. Oops, I don't think we should go without thinking clearly. Now what? Twilight might find us. She has wings after all. Natural ponies were just on their way home when they heard Tilly's whistle. <whistles> it's Tilly, she's got herself lost.
that, Twilight, is what we have not discovered in our new home, is the other Everfree Forest, a place where the trees move about when nobody's looking. The trees were planted in the days of magic. Let's see where they are. Okay, I'm going in. I hope the ponies can find us. Oh, there's something purple. Oh. There you are, Tilly, sir. We didn't tell you about this woods. It's a trap. All the trees move about when nobody's looking. Oh, no wonder they're hiding our tracks. Someone must be trying to get my engine back to America. Twilight took us out of the woods and Tilly told them about her life in danger of the news people finding her. Oh, I'm sorry about you not safe enough. I've been flying over the woods and saw someone that is after you. This person is named Arid Nimbo. He was banished here a long time ago and has been making this trap for you. Now he found this place of his. I think I'll have to kill this magic, make the woods unmovable. Look out, there's that man coming out. You've spoiled my trap. Ah, ah, tender, long time. No meat. Arid Nimbo, my worst controller. I once met you when I was working in my first railway. Doing the shunting, I thought you'd given up trying to make me go back to America by you taking me back to it. I'm not only doing that, my dear engine, I'm to scrap you. That's what you'd think. Well, I've got this surprise you haven't known. Tenny wished some smoke on Arid Nimbo. It fried its head. Stop! You're making me lose my... <coughs> That'll teach him or keep him quiet for the years to come. Come on. You better take you home, or tell your friends about this and the fat controller can tell the news people that you just like to have a peaceful life here. So the case of the news finding her was forgotten, and the tower was of course told off because he wasted their time finding her. Well, Tilly, my lass, you won't get into trouble now. Thanks for letting me tell you my tale, sir. I'm glad I can stay here. <laughs>